Hello and welcome back to another vintage hairstyling tutorial. Pin curling is one of my favorite ways to prep my hair for vintage styles and it's something I enjoy doing so I was really looking forward to showing you another tutorial with my pin curl sculpture tool. This week's tutorial is we're going to focus on creating some waves and creating some alternating direction of pin curl to produce a wavier brush out. It is a very gloomy, rainy afternoon. I'm already in my pajamas and super ready to wind down. Surprisingly, this is kind of therapeutic for me, so hopefully, and my dog's here too. Hopefully you can enjoy the process too. So if you're watching along, you can grab your hair tools, and if you don't have a pin curl sculpture tool and you just prefer to pin curl the old fashioned way, more power to you. I have my setting lotion, my pin curl clips, a comb, a hairbrush, and some water nearby, and we can get started. So the hair is freshly washed, still pretty damp. I wasn't sure how long I was gonna talk for, but I'm kinda ready to start. And I've got my side part, and I'm just gonna section off. For our hair sections, I'm just creating an ear-to-ear -ear part. This is where we will form our first rows of pin curls, and I'm separating the rest of the hair in the back. Since I want to create two rows of pin curls, I'm measuring those sections with my comb, trying to make them as symmetrical as possible and separating that bang section. We can clip it aside for now. So your sections and rows can vary depending on how much hair you have and how thick your hair is. I find that just keeping it even, not putting too much hair in one pin curl will be very helpful. So this looks like a good section to start with. And I'm just gonna pull this piece back and we're gonna divide this into two. smaller side because these are some very small pieces of hair. I'm not using a specific setting pattern to create this style. All that matters is that your rows are opposite from each other. So this first row the curls are going away from the face. So that means the next row the curls will be rolled towards the face. You can also think of it in terms of a face of a clock. So these will be clockwise pin curls and the next row will be counterclockwise. And once you have your next row and your first pin curl, you can lay it on top of the one below it. And essentially, we're going to repeat this method all the way around our head to the other side. And for securing your pin curls, you can use whatever you have on hand, whether it's duck bow clips or bobby pins. That's our first quad of pin curls. So now we can repeat this on the other side. To start out in this video, I'm working from bottom to top with my rows, but the order in which you pin curl is entirely up to you. I've tried it many different ways, and I think that it just depends on what you prefer. But I thought working in this method would make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. So now we've done our other side section and we can work on the bangs. For the bangs, I'm not gonna do any waving. They're just gonna go all 
in one direction. So it's just this large square section. And then I'm gonna create three rows and they're all gonna go away from the hair parting. I wanted to add some volume to this style, so I chose to use standing pin curls instead of the lie flat pin curls in the alternating rows, but I'll probably show you how to do that method another time. And if you prefer to do more waves, you can continue your rows all the way up to your hair parting instead. We're done with all of the front sections. Didn't take too long. And now we just have to do the entire back. Hopefully we can get it down to four rows. You can either do vertical or horizontal. Typically I do horizontal if I wanna create even waves, but sometimes it's easier to just take a section of hair and like work your way down. So I might just do that. And then we'll be adding the rows that are below the ear. So since these curls were reverse curls, this row below the ear is going to go the other direction. Using a rat tail comb, Will make it easier to create those one inch hair sections. So I continue these rows here and here. And now we can form another row. It gets a little trickier the further back you go. You just kind of have to trust yourself or use a mirror. might be tempted to make bigger pin curls, but that just means the curl won't have the same hold. Especially if you want more volume underneath, I recommend doing more small pin curls because you can fluff it up a bit more underneath the hairstyle and it'll help you add that volume. have a rather large pin curl and it's not fitting in your clip, you can use a bobby pin sized hairpin that is open like this. I recommend using two of them and positioning it in a X formation, kind of digging it and grabbing like this. You don't have to worry about your duckbill clip coming out. So even though I'm not going with the vertical method anymore because I was having a hard time because I can't see, I'm still trying to put this pin curl with these pin curls in the back with this row here and have it continue all the way around the head, which is quite challenging to do on yourself. 
but you can do it. It just might not be perfect and it might take some practice. So the pin curl set is complete. The rows continue all the way around the back to the best of my abilities. There's about four rows. It's not perfect, but hopefully it turns out okay. I'm gonna give it an, another final spritz. So now I'm going to apply a hairnet just to ensure that everything stays in place. Now I could have used regular bobby pins for these front clips, and if it does irritate me, maybe I will switch them, but since the, these pieces were quite thin, I didn't feel like I needed to use these wider pins, but these were super helpful for those larger pin curls. And since I'm not going to bed yet, I'm just going to be applying my slumber knit because it will help the hair dry faster to have something a little bit lighter. When I do go to bed, I'll be putting my silk pillowcase hair scarf on just because that one's super comfortable for sleeping. But for just being at home and watching TV, I'm gonna wear my blue slumbernet to match my blue pajamas. And that concludes the end to my pin curl waving tutorial. You can check back for the brush out in part two in my next video.